We are seeing ice forming on some of the Great Lakes as we enter this month of January. Right now, the current ice concentration is completely covered on Lake Erie, but notice a lot of blue across the other Great Lakes, including Lake Ontario here at home. No ice cover. So in total, when you sum up all the Great Lakes, it's about 22% coverage. Something to note, though, is Lake Erie has just formed this coating of ice in just the past 10 days, and that's because of some colder air that's been building in for this month of January alone. Comparing this year to last year, we had no ice on pretty much all of the Great Lakes, only about 10% coverage. So a big difference compared to last year. So Lake Erie right now is ice covered, but Lake Ontario is still seeing warm temperatures or at least warm above that freezing mark. Temperatures across Lake Ontario and the rest of the Great Lakes range from 38 to 42 degrees. However, for lake effect snow to form, we not only need warm water, we need cold land and cold air temperatures that are being dragged across the Great Lakes. We didn't see that in December. It was a very warm month, but this month we've now been seeing that colder air. As that cold air is drawn across the Great Lakes, it picks up that water vapor or moisture, condenses it, and then drops it as snow as it moves directly inland. And that's why we've been seeing a lot more lake effect this month alone in central New York, because warmer water means more snow. And of course, we need that cold air, plus some other factors include instability and wind shear in order for that lake effect snow to develop. So a snowy scene here in central New York. We'll see if it continues. Reporting on the Weather Deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyver.